we will be presenting our feasibility study entitled Coconut Sap Cocos Nocipera L as a raw material for the manufacturing of high-grade coconut vinegar. The vinegar is described as a liquid for fit for human consumption, produced from a suitable raw material of agricultural origin, containing either starch or sugars, or both starch and sugars by the process of double fermentation, alcoholic and acetous, and contains a specified amount of acetic acid according to FAO WHO 1987. Coconut or Cocos nocifera L is popularly recognized as the tree of life because of its numerous economic purposes and significance in preserving the life of the people who cultivate it. The Philippines is one of the world's leading coconut manufacturers and retailers of coconut products. Its annual coconut production is 15 billion, the third highest in the world after India and Indonesia. Generally, the coconut sap is obtained from the dripping by tapping of the stem or from inflorescences of coconut palm, according to Godoy et al. 2003. The aim of this study is to provide 100% natural and a 0% preservative coconut vinegar from the raw coconut sap to locals of Quezon province, along with other consumers in different regions through a market system. In addition to being organic, there are concentrated amounts of minerals and vitamins in the sap from the mature coconut blossoms, including vitamins B and C, which give every customer more health benefits. Aside from the stated minerals and vitamins, it also contains probiotics, which are considered gut-friendly. The study is beneficial to any person who consumes the goods by offering a high-quality product and providing the workforce with jobs. It is also beneficial to the local farmers through the purchase and promotion of their products. This research aims to assess the feasibility of turning coconut sap into vinegar. The substantial use of coconut sap as the raw material of the product will be illustrated by this report. In particular, this study aims to address the following questions. First, is the coconut sap healthy to produce vinegar? Is the produced coconut vinegar marketable? And lastly, is the construction of the plant feasible and profitable? The study will assess and determine the marketability and profitability of the emerging coconut vinegar production as well as the potential and effectiveness of the analysis for project development to be established. The analysis of the research will also be carried out in compliance with the necessary protocols, taking into account the different factors that will influence the viability and setting up of the study. Also, through the use of all available resources to build up this venture, this is study seeks to identify and examine all the significant variables in designing the industry. The marketing aspect evaluates whether by analyzing several variable factors and approaches the project can progress through. Marketing research, analysis, and strategies shall be considered and carried out in this study. This chapter will assess the feasibility of our research in terms of marketability, profitability, sustainability, and its marketing framework. Marketability gives answer to the question, will people buy this product and the saleability of the product? Profitability will assess whether the company's production is efficient and can generate money. Marketing framework in this chapter will be presented to decide strategies in building the venture and sustainability of the process in producing the product while considering the economic, environmental, and social aspect of the firm. Co-company will be situated in Quezon province, therefore targeting the locals of Quezon to be our first market. From co company, our own delivery trucks will be used to distribute the products to the municipalities of the first to fourth district. This will be included to the distribution areas, and every local stores, chain stores, supermarkets, food chains, and specialty stores are potential clients of the company. For the demand analysis, historical demand is shown in Table 2.2. The data are obtained from the Philippine Statistics Authority and Commod. Commodity fact sheet for 2015 and 2019. From the year 2015 to 2018, the demand and supply for coconut vinegar has been inconsistent. The largest number of demand was on the year 2015 and the lowest on the year 2016. On the preceding years, the demand is still not consistent but higher than the demand for the year 2016. The projected demand for 2020 to 2025 is tabulated in Table 2.2. Using the straight line method, 
there is an increasing demand for the next five years, which is the opposite of the historical demand. The major difference in demand for 2015 and 2016 have greatly affected the projected demand. Shown in Table 2.3 is the historical supply for the vinegar that was also taken from the PSA Commodity Fact Sheet for 2015 to 2019. A stable and increasing supply was shown in 2015 to 2017, then a sudden decrease of supply in 2018. Projected supply was also computed using the straight line method and shows a decreasing supply. Next, as shown in the figure, historical demand and supply are the opposite. Historical demand has a major decrease in 2015 and 2016 and a progress in 2017. The historical supply increases in 2015 to 2017, then a major decrease in 2018. From historical demand, 372.51 megatons of vinegar demand was projected on 2019. The projected demand for 2020 to 2025, based from previous demand, shows a smooth increase in the demand curve while well, projected supply shows a decreasing trend line and a prop curve. For the marketing program, as a growing industry, the co-company established a marketing program to cater the needs of our customers. Customer headlines will be given for ordering products, customer feedbacks, recommendations, and issues on the product to improve our performance. Customer service is the support we offer to our customers to help them have an easy experience or service with the company. Workshop and plant tours will also be offered for aspiring co-company workers and for educational purposes. Advertisements and online channels will be made to inform, encourage potential consumers and customers to inform them of the product benefits and promos. Strategy promotes uh, products to consumers wherein customer satisfactions will result customers' loyalty for the coconut vinegar product. The use of social media advertisement will be used by the company to inform and encourage people to trust and buy our products. Free samples will also be offered to generate not just interest in the product, but can encourage a potential client. Also, feedbacks from the samples will be taken to improve and exceed customer expectations and to give us a competitive edge. Retail partnership and distribution with large supermarkets will also be considered. This can result to additional exposure of sales and the products for the company to succeed. It is essential to study the analysis of customer response to the theoretical cost of the product because it will determine if the proposed price is fair and reasonable. The company will be using combined competition-based and cost-based pricing since vinegar producers exist in the target market and some of them have established their good reputations. The co company will provide a minimal difference in pricing the coconut vinegar product that is close as possible to the suppliers of the target market without compromising the company profit and product quality. Factors affecting the market include company's product, price of the product, sources and cost of production, economic cycle, and market competition. First, a lot of factors affect the demand of the product, including population growth, consumer taste and preference and changing of customers' income. Then, the company should be able to adjust without significant losses in order to keep the business running. The company needs to make sure that there is enough supply of raw materials for production in order to meet the growing demands of consumers. During the expansion phase, the demand may increase exponentially and may decrease during the recession, so as the profit. Recession leads to wastage of resources and the market suffers Therefore, this affects the sales of the product. In order to compete with the competitors, the company will produce a product that has comparable quality and has added benefits than that of the existing product in the market. For our modes of distribution, product distribution will be made through our own delivery trucks. Company will cater first to our district of Quezon Province. Distribution will be on a weekly basis wherein District 1, and two of Quezon Province is scheduled every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, while distribution in District 2 and 4 will be made on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. In these places, distribution will be agreed upon by the client and the company. There will be three bottle sizes for coconut vinegar. And then, in taking the orders, all necessary information 
should be given to process the selling. There will all also be additional charges such as freight costs, taxes, and fee for the shift in regular packing upon request. In not more than 30 days upon the delivery of the goods, payment shall be made through cash or check. If the goods delivered are reported faulty, the product shall be returned with original packaging to the company and shall be subjected to investigation. This chapter presents the study's essential factors that respond to technicalities and its basic structure. Factors such as raw material, product manufacturing process, plant location, quality control, equipment, facilities, and utilities are needed to be planned carefully in order for the company to be productive and succeed in the incoming years. The major raw material for the manufacturing of coconut vinegar is the coconut sap. Coconut sap is a sweet oyster white colored liquid collected from the immature coconut paddocks of the coconut tree. It contains 10 to 15 percent sugar and according to Wars et al. 2007, it has a nearly neutral pH. Why did we choose coconut sap instead of other materials? Aside from having a high sugar content, coconut sap is highly nutritive and of immense medical value too, according to Kalai Rayasi et al. 2013. Also, according to Bar and Mazumdar 2008, compared with sugar palm juice and date palm sap, coconut sap is considered to be the best source of nutrients. It also contains 16 kinds of amino acids and various vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin D complex, especially nicotinic acid, according to Alsberg et al. 1997. The tables below shows different vitamins, amino acids, biochemical, and minerals present in the coconut sap. Another raw material needed is the nutrient needed by the acetic acid bacteria to convert alcohol into an acid. This is the free acetosine nutrient. Acetosine DS plus 2 is a nutrient that works well in all types of submerged fermentations and is 100% soluble in vinegar. It contains ammonium, potassium, phosphate, sucrose, magnesium, sulfate, yeast extract, and vitamin mineral mix. This is our product, the coconut vinegar available in 500, 750, and 1,000 ml bottles. Coconut vinegar is a natural product derived from a natural coconut sub-fermentation process without the addition of preservatives or chemicals. The coconut vinegar that our company produces have the following physical chemical characteristics. The major uses of the product are as a condiment or seasoning and is also used to improve flavor. On the other hand, the alternative uses for medicinal purposes for cholesterol reduction as a cleaning agent and as a deodorizer. Coconut sap vinegar manufacturing process is composed of different sectors which are raw material handling, alcoholic fermentation, sedimentation, acidification, filtration, aging, clarification, pasteurization, and bottling. This is the block flow diagram of the manufacturing process. And this is the qualitative process flow diagram which shows what happens to the product during and the whole process before and after each unit process, the amount and the composition. The collected coconut sap will be transferred into 10 liter capacity high molecular high density polyethylene carboys, which are thoroughly washed and boiled to avoid microbial contamination. The carboys will be carefully placed in the chiller to maintain the temperature of sap below 5 degrees Celsius. For the alcoholic fermentation, 100,000 liters of sap will be fed into the fermenter for alcoholization or alcoholic fermentation. Initially, the sap contains 14% sugar, which will be converted to ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide with the action of yeast at 24 to 36 degrees Celsius. The fermentation will be carried out for 48 hours to ensure complete alcoholic fermentation. For the sedimentation process, sedimentation will proceed after the alcoholic fermentation in order to allow settling of yeast and other suspended solids for removal. Sedimentation will be carried out in two to three weeks until the sediments have settled. For the acidification process, 
the clear liquid from the sedimentation tank will be drawn and transferred to the acetators for acidification process. The submerged method will be employed in the acidification process. Submerged process is operated batchwise and it consists of continuous aeration of the liquid. Acetators will be filled with the alcoholic liquid and as the pump steers alcohol, nutrients that enhance the growth of acetobacter in the oxygen bubble are added into the tank. The temperature of the tank is to be maintained between 40 to 42 degrees Celsius. In 72 hours, about 94% of the ethanol will be converted to acetic acid. There will be no slime in the machine and vinegar will be exceptionally clean using submerged system. After the acidification, 6% will be produced. For the filtration, the vinegar will be piped from the acetators to a plate and frame filtering machine. Then the sediment, which is 3% of the total product, will be flushed into the drain as the vinegar moves to the holding tanks. For the aging process, it will be done in storage tanks, which are completely sealed to prevent exposure to air. During the aging of vinegar, the flavor and clarity of the vinegar will be enhanced. In order to achieve the highest quality of the vinegar, Aging will last for one year. For the clarification, matured vinegar will be clarified by filtration using filter machine. Filtration of the vinegar will be done to remove undesirable substances formed during the aging process. Clarified and pasteurized vinegar is more suitable for sales. And for pasteurization, the clarified vinegar will be pasteurized at 60 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes and will be allowed to cool down before bottling. Pasteurization kills the microorganisms responsible for the deterioration of vinegar. And lastly, the bottling process. A machine line will be used for easier bottling and capping of the vinegar products. There will be three sizes of the bottles to be used by the company. 500 ml, 750 ml, and 1000 ml bottles. The plant site is located at San Andres, Quezon Province. San Andres is a fourth class municipality situated at 128 kilometers east southeast of the Lucena City's provincial capital and has a land area of 60.99 square kilometers, which is approximately 0.68% of Quezon's total land area. Listed in the slide, are the rational, rational for the site selection. This is the plant perspective and this is the plant layout. The chemical composition characteristics of the coconut sap were done using different methods and tests from the USDA nutrient database. The attributes obtained for the methods used are the moist content, ash content, crude fat, protein, carbohydrate, pH, TSS, color, browning index, vitamins, and minerals. The plant generates wastewater which contains organic compounds like acetic acid. The untreated wastewater causes damage when directly discharged to land and bodies of water. The soil will erode, water will be contaminated, and dissolved oxygen in the surface, waters will be depleted. It is therefore necessary to treat the effluent before discharging. Washing waters from tanks, floors, and filters along with drips, spills, and leaks end up as the effluent or wastewater in the plant. Wastewater consists of biological oxygen demand, chemical oxygen demand, and solids. Shown in the figure is the wastewater process flow diagram applied by the company. And lastly, the utilities used by the company includes electricity and water. The management aspect is composed of the following data. Organization form, vision and mission, organizational chart, duties, responsibilities, and qualifications of employees, employee hiring and training, employee category, general employee control, employee certification, and project schedule. We consider our organization as a corporation, which is a business form organization of a legal entity recognized by the law and separated from its owners, the stockholders. The business structure makes a profit, 
tax and can also be held legally liable for their actions. Since the organization operates as a standalone entity, a corporate system is probably the most beneficial way to establish a venture. Our company envisions uh, to be the leading producer of choice for high-quality coconut-based products. We also envision to ensure and sustain production development while maintaining excellent product and service quality in an environmentally sustainable manner and responsible way. We look forward to providing natural, sustainably sourced and high-quality products through dedication to people and technology at fair and sustainable prices while creating innovative food solutions in a safe environment and generating employment to empower farmers and farmland. We also aim to implement manufacturing techniques geared towards improving production while reducing generation of waste and promoting sustainability to offer high quality and healthy goods to our customers. The organizational chart as shown in the figure is the list of employees arranged according to position from the administrative department down to the quality assurance department. There are six departments in our company. First is the administrative department, which is composed of the following positions. President, vice president, legal advisor, executive secretary, and secretary. Second department is the marketing, finance, and human resources department. This is composed of financial manager, market analyst, sales representative, customer ser service representative, accountant, bookkeeper, human resources manager, human resources benefits and compensation administrator, and human resources training and development administrator. For the production department, it needs to have line supervisor, process engineer, product engineer, process control programmer, warehouse and shipping manager, and warehouse and shipping clerk operators. Another department is the maintenance and safety department. It will be composed of safety engineer, electrician, and pollution control engineer. The search and Depar development department will need a process and product development engineer. Lastly, the quality assurance department will need quality assurance receiving and final inspector. Hiring an employee undergoes the following procedures. First is the reception wherein recruitment begins when a position in the business opens up. Initial screening based on his initial interview or resume, the firm decides whether a candidate lacks experience or isn't fit for the job. He is then disqualified from the recruiting process if he fails to meet the minimum criteria. Completion of application form with their data on academic experience, social history, job background, demographics and, and references, the applicants are required to fill out an application form. Personal data, marital status, physical data, academic data, job data, extracurricular activities, and references are included in the content of the application form. Selection testing in order to obtain further information for comparison and selection, more evaluation of the applicant is performed. In selection testing, behavior, success, and competence are evaluated. The selection test will consist the intelligence assessment, personality test, competence test, and achievement test. For the comprehensive interview, this is to acquire specific information about the applicant. A one-on-one -on -one interview is held between the employer and the applicant. Medical examination is required to ensure that the candidate can comply physically with, this, with the specifications of the job and is within the company's guidelines. Reference check in order to further verify the factual accuracy of the details provided by the applicant. The company contacts the applicant sources. In addition, detailed information about the applicant may be provided by former employers. Hiring decision in conjunction with the Department of Human Resources, the line manager determines and then hires the best applicant for the specific position. Employee, employee orientation wherein the employee is introduced to his new job and work environment during an employee orientation. This is a way for the company to familiarize the new employee with his boss, co-worker, and the company itself. Co-company provides its staff an opportunity to develop his, his expertise and knowledge. This is achieved by instruction and workshops being held. 
Training discusses and reinforces the shortcomings of the worker. It further enhances and improves the employee's current abilities. In order to do their job effectively and respond appropriately to emergencies, co-company guarantees that all its workers have consistent experience and background information. There are four categories of employees. These are the professional supervisory category, professional non-supervisory category, sub-professional supervisory category, and sub-professional non-supervisory category. The probationary period of the co-company shall determine the probation period of the company's employment and its importance to the employee and the company. This introductory period shall evaluate and decide whether the individual continues to work and serve for the company or not. The employee undergoes probation, which lasts from several months to two years upon employment. The employee is excluded from such contractual activities during the time of probation. Companies are obliged to provide for the workers of the company by providing them the best compensation as required by the government, following these government regulations and guaranteeing that the workers appreciate their, ad their advantages, the company can help improve worker satisfaction, enhancing the performance at work and having a positive effect on the company. As elaborated in the Philippine Labor Code and Special Laws, listed in this slide are the mandatory benefits and services the company is obliged to do. The project schedule proposed by our company shows the different activities starting from the feasibility study to the construction of the plant down to its full operation within, within a specific period of time allotted for each activity. As seen in the figure, the construction of the plant has the, has the longest duration. The, pro, the project management and review technique or PERT and the critical path method or CPM as shown in the figure indicates the critical path as A, B, C, D, F, G, I, J, K, L, M, and N with a duration period of 34 months. For the financial aspects, the effectiveness of a business venture is reflected by industrial profitability where it is a key factor to be taken into account in order to fulfill tasks and goals. In order to avoid future losses during economic unsteadiness or unexpected situations, co-company sets up strategic budget schemes and financial stability. Some of the variables that may significantly affect the financial performance of the company are inflation rates, which is represented as a percentage increase in prices, over a set period of time, economic stability refers to an absence of excessive fluctuations in macroeconomy where an fairly constant output growth and low and stable inflation would be considered economically stable. Lastly, the contingent liability is a potential liability that may occur in the future such as pending lawsuits or honoring product warranties. These are the assumptions made by the company and is used for the different computations of costs. For the estimations of the total capital investment based on the calculation percentage of fixed capital investment from plant design and economics for chemical engineering 5th edition by Peters and Timmer House, this provides a description of direct and indirect costs for calculations of overall capital expenditures. The fixed capital investment is the sum of total direct and indirect expenses, while 15% of the total capital investment is estimated as working capital. The total investment is the amount of investments in fixed capital and working capital. Thus, the percentage of normalized fixed capital investment means that the cost is determined by having a specified percentage of the cost of the equipment purchased. Refer to Appendix C for detailed costing and equipment, auxiliary building and process, furnitures and fixtures, and the transportations. For the list of partners, The company investors are listed with the ideal capital investment amount to accumulate expected total capital invested needed by the company. For the estimations of the total product cost, 
The table shows the data for the calculations of the total product cost for the five first five years of plant operation using 3% inflation rate. It shows the breakdown of the cost of direct production, fixed charges, and general expenses. For the income statement, gross profit is calculated by the additions of net cost, sale expenses, the net sales are measured as shown in note 1, which includes items such as coconut vinegar, fresh coconut that the company will produce. In note 2, this includes raw materials, operational labor, services, maintenance and repairs, operating equipment, laboratory fees, patents and royalties, packaging and depreciation. The cost of sales is shown in addition in addition, the net income was determined by subtracting the 30% income tax from total income. Next is the balance sheet. This shows that the total assets from the additions of current and non-current assets is equal to the total liabilities and partners' capital. The tables for note 1, 2, and 3 is shown in Appendix C of the manuscript where a note 1 includes the total cash on hand and cash on bank. The note 2 includes the all non-current asset and is found in Appendix C. Note 3 is where electricity and water cost payable is included. Next for the statement of cash flows. Cash flow is the amount of cash which the company received or gives out by the way of payment. Net cash used is the total of cash used by the operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. The ending cash balance is subtracted beginning cash balance from the net cash used. For the rate of return investment, the rate of return in percentage is calculated by dividing the net income by the total capital investment the rate of return exceeded to the expected 20% of return of investment, which is 28.83% in this increasing. Lastly, for the payback period, the payback period was calculated by dividing the fixed capital investment by the total of average annual income and the annual depreciation. The investments will be paid in just 2.6 years. Socioeconomic aspect. This chapter aims at addressing and assessing the social, environmental, and economical consequences of the project for the society. Co company cares for its people, customers, and environment, and also gives the best product we produce. We are delighted to create our products we need in accordance with the law without compromising the environment. For the employment and income, it is under social, which the co-company is engaging with the community and exemplifying corporate responsibility. The construction of the firm alone offers job opportunities to people. Raw material harvest offers job to farmers, and the overall manufacturing of offers job opportunities to professionals. The company will employ professional workers in every aspect for corresponding field of works. Professional workers must meet the requirements needed for a certain job position. Licenses, certifications, clearances should be part of the requirement of the worker. Wage rates must correspond with the regular pay at the area of the company. For the taxes and insurances, it is under economic, which promotes business excellence and maintains highest ethical standards. Co-company respects the imposed regulations by the Philippine tax law for the betterment of the country. The corporation's insurance would shield the company from emergency situations and unforeseen events, and the worker insurance is provided by the employer. For the social benefits, The plant is well equipped with employee facilities, which improve the plant's productivity and overall performance. These facilities will help to increase the plant's morale and productivity. Construction employment will support society economically 
and will provide decent living conditions for people. For the environmental concerns, Co-Company employs green building practices and minimizes carbon emissions. Coconut sap is an organic raw material, so the process is not environmentally damaging and means that the cutting down of trees is minimized. In order to comply with the current sol solid waste management legislation, the wastewater and the solid waste will be treated and disposed properly. For the summary and conclusion, coconut sap being oyster white and translucent, containing sugar and has a natural peat raw material for vinegar production. Due to the increasing demand of organic vinegars because of its health benefits, the production rate of the coconut vinegar will definitely increase within the next five years. Therefore, Co Company will have a rise in the production of coconut vinegar and will have a great opportunity and potential in the market and the production plant must be situated in a re region with ample supply of coconut sap to optimize the company's operations. Thus, San Andres Quezon is a very reasonable place to build the plant since Quezon province is one of the leading producers of the coconut in the Philippines. The coconut vinegar will be sold in bottles of 500 ml, 750 ml, and 1000 ml at a cost of 130, 175, 225 respectively. As a result of its lower price compared to other current organic vinegars and its health benefit content, the price of the pro product will be attractive to the consumers. pesos or about eight. The computed rate of return is higher than the 20% expected rate of return, which increases every year. This leads to a quicker payback period, which is measured from the initial investment of a capital project for the cash, cash flows generated by the project to be paid in just 2.61 years. It is concluded on the basis of these various financial analysis that the plant is profitable, thereby confirming the projects are feasible. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.